Hi friends, welcome to Hasib Electronics. Today I will discuss about Unity clamp meter and we will discuss different features and we will discuss use how to use this clamp meter as a ampere meter voltmeter uh, this is some information about website and it is a very pretty nice clamp meter it is digital and auto it have different models now we will open this box it is unity oh very nice bag pouch it is UT202 unity this company very known company it it is uh, acceptable nice quality and uh, perfect it is very nice okay we will remove this oh it is a small and it have a, a wristband to make safer it is a very tiny tiny and very cute it have a battery pack inside it is very f fine quality we will see what is there it have a dial selector knob different types of dials and sub menus for current temperature voltage we will see in detail it have hold button maximum and select bit button for sub menu diode of continuity it have selector dial and it have test leads we will discuss how to use this for clamp meter we have to put in a wire in any wire which is carrying electrical current we will see them it have two leads like a routine multimeter when I, I want to check current I have to clamp on one wire which is carrying current okay now I will connect test leads it have volt ohm diode uh, range for continuity first we will see the battery pack and the brochure there is a small catalog it is operator manual how to use this but this is in I think Chinese or Taiwan language how to use it is as a clamp meter it how to install batteries how to use as a resistance it have one cable set for test leads and second is temperature cable we how we can remove battery uh, remove the screw and slide the back cover it have two a size batteries remove battery pack from the multimeter if we have to remove batteries there is a proper sign marking negative and positive this multi this clamp meter multimeter uses 3 volt battery not 9 volt battery like other meters the battery have a negative and positive sign take care for the polarity of multimeter of the battery cells for multimeter it is negative it is positive connect like this here it is negative here is positive match the polarity and insert the battery pack when it is pressed in 
now we can put a back cover just ins insert and slide fix the screw now we will see its use first we will see how to measure voltage it have test leads we will install test leads negative as a common black lead as common port and red lead at volt ohm diode function when we use as a DVM or a digital multimeter we, ha we will use test leads it is DC volt range it is auto range multimeter just you have to select the range and connect the test lead to test point it will give a correct reading I will demonstrate different uh, DC batteries and some adjustable power supply here I will check a battery voltage it is giving me 9 volt minus 9 volt when it is giving me 9 minus 9 volt minus sign so we have to we have to take care for the polarity it is giving me minus 9 volt so it means I have to swap the test leads I have to change the polarity of the test leads okay it is giving my me 9 volt now it means I have connected the leads in correct way we will check this battery cell it is giving me 1.6 volt it is very nice now I have a adjustable power supply it is giving me minus 14 volt that means these terminals are unidentified I have to swap test leads to the uh, correct polarity now it is giving me 14.35 it means the cable at black lead that is negative the other lead that is positive okay now we will go to the other function that is AC voltage function we see voltage there is sine wave indication in DC voltage there is a straight line in AC voltage function there is a sine wave so that means this range is used for AC voltage for measuring AC voltage I will check AC voltage in this socket I connected this cable to a power port for measuring AC volt I put on selected the AC voltage range okay it is giving me 232 volt 31 32 volt that's nice in AC there is no difference for polarity but for DC we have to take care for polarity I can measure in any way neutral phase no problem phase to phase no problem now we will go to ohm range the white range that is main range now we will work in ohm there are two other ranges on the same I can check resistance like this 10 ohm sorry 100 ohm this 18.19 kilo ohm there are two other ranges that is operated by this blue button now I am in diode mode the main dial that is white at ohm but we can select the sub ranges sub mode by the blue button I have this diode 
it's, it will check in 0.5 volt forward voltage I will swap leads to test lead test diode it is open because because diode is one way conductor here it is reading so that means I can di differentiate between anode and cathode now I will check continuity now we can see on the screen there is a B mod continuity mod there is audible tone we can check any cable any conductor I will check a power ca power cable I will check power cable yes I will connect one lead to one end there is audible beep that means this cable is good and it will show the resistance of the cable it is 1.2 ohm I will swap the lead to other port and I will check the other side of cable it is giving me 0.1 ohm that means this cable is good I will check the ground that's good yes very nice so friends now we can select any function from this when we swap to ohm first it will go to ohm range it is giving me overload mega ohm then we can sw swap to diode mode diode indication is over there and then we can shift again pressing blue button it will go to continuity mode when we press again it will come to diode ohm it will swap between these three modes but first for ohm diode and continuity the main selector knob must be at ohm sign now there is a temperature function in this multimeter in this clamp meter here it is it is a very nice function for, for checking temperature we have to use a temperature cable it have a temperature sensor we will unpack this okay connect it is sensor connect red lead to red and black lead to black port now it is giving me 24 degree room, room temperature I put in my fingers it is giving me by body temperature because this time I am in very cold room it is about 22 degree so my body temperature is also less we can swap between Fahrenheit degree Fahrenheit it is giving me 89 degree Fahrenheit it is my body temperature now and when we I swap again it will go to uh, centigrade scale now I will put it between a sol uh, uh, close to soldering iron we can see there is a distance between soldering iron and uh, the sensor but it is reading temperature we can see this it is hot I will make closer I will not touch but I can sense the temperature we can see on the screen it is 76 degree centigrade 183 degree centigrade so we can check the temperature of any component any part when if there is heat we can sense using mm -hmm. this so friends another safety now we will check uh, current if we are going to measure a current we have to take care we must remove the test leads it is 20 ampere range we have to if we use as a cable we cannot measure a current like this we have to 
remove the insulation of a cable okay and we have we have to use a just single phase single wire I have four wires here I can use current for any wire which I read which I need it is giving me 0.447 ampere if I use like this it will not give me good reading for cable I have to measure current in one wire not a group of wires or cable if I measure in a cable phase neutral any phase I can measure current but as a group I cannot measure current it is giving me point the second phase is phase it is giving me point three six five point four to four because there is a varying load so we can measure current like this so friends if this video satisfies you like subscribe share and if there is any suggestion anything must write a comment in the comment video comment I will appreciate I will love comments please must give your opinion for this video I will thankful to you and make a subscribe okay take care bye bye